Hello everybody and welcome to the video. For this video we are going to be sublimating some glass tumblers. These are frosted glass tumblers. I showed you guys on my community page a box that I was going to be opening up for a future video. In the box is six glass tumblers. They're frosted and they have bamboo lids. The straws are actually made out of glass. They packaged these very well in the styrofoam so that there was no chance of the straws or the glasses breaking during shipping. Now, these tumblers, you can put pretty much anything in uh, juice, soda, iced coffee, beer, whatever it is, whatever cold drink that you like to enjoy. For this project, I'm going to be sublimating three of these glasses Halloween themed. I have three Halloween images picked out. These images were made through Mid Journey and I customized them a little bit through the Cricut Design Space program. Once I got the images the way I want for the tumblers, I printed all three of them out. I actually made took one of these designs and put it on a t-shirt that I uploaded recently. Don't forget guys, when you're making or when you're sublimating on sublimation blanks, it's really good to wipe down and completely clean off your sublimation blank just so you have no dirt or dust in between the piece of paper and the sublimation blank so it doesn't transfer in a little speck or a, in a part of the sublimation blank. I really like using these new AI mid journey pro this mid journey program. You could make some really fun designs with it. Like I've spent hours just running different prompts through mid journey and to see what it would come out with. And then you, you run the, the pictures or images that you like back through and add a couple more prompts to change it. You could make so many different things through the program. I've also been uh, testing out Photoshop's new AI program. I showed you guys the very first time I used it. I uploaded that to my YouTube channel showing you guys just seeing what the AI program could do. I have been having so much fun create a bunch of Halloween themed items for Halloween this year. I made a few fun t-shirts. I am working on a puzzle and now I've made some mugs and glasses. It's been really fun and interesting to try to incorporate some AI images along with some text and see what we could come up with for some fun original designs. I'm actually interested to know if, if you want me to go through the mid-journey process of how I create images with the program. Let me know in the comments if that is something that you guys would find interesting for a future video. Right now I have a poll going on my community page where I am celebrating reaching 1500 subscribers with a giveaway and I gave my subscribers the choice between a Halloween giveaway or a Christmas giveaway. Currently Halloween is winning. I don't know if it's because it's sooner or because people like Halloween more than Christmas. I'm not completely sure. I'm thinking Halloween's gonna win and I have some fun ideas in mind for a Halloween giveaway. I can't wait to get started on working on that. So what I'm actually doing right here is I am taping down the designs. I printed them out through Cricut Design Space. I cut them out and now I'm just taping them, securing them onto the glass tumblers. You got to make sure that it's pressed down against the glass really firm and what I'm going to use is some butcher paper to wrap around the, the glass and then I'm going to put it in the mug press. These needed to be pressed at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. I pressed them for 300 seconds 
each press. Each tumbler took two presses because of the length of the tumbler was longer than my mug presses. Probably something I should, could, should consider is getting a longer mug press, but I'll worry about that for another time. Right now I'm actually just trying to upgrade to get a full DTF setup going on. I have been so surprised over the years. Like when I originally got into making things, I started with just vinyl and HTV on my very first Cricut. And I've upgraded my Cricut and my Cricut since. I've upgraded heat presses three times, I think. And I found sublimation to be a thing because you learn quickly that there's there was designs that I wanted to do that I couldn't do with vinyl and I so I had to investigate on how I would do those designs so I discovered sublimation and I quickly realized when I started sublimating how restricted it is it's got to be like polyester and white material the sublimation ink doesn't have white in it so you've got to make sure it's on a white background so the colors pop so you have if there's any white in the design you have that white and if you if you put sublimation ink on cotton it washes right out it's crazy it's like you didn't even sublimate that piece of fabric and then I found through trying to figure out how to sublimate on black and cotton trying a bunch of different kind of transfer papers, I stumbled across DTF. So I'm getting involved in using DTF. Like I tried DTF with sublimation ink, and then I discovered there's sub DTF ink, there's DTF printers. It makes me realize that I need a DTF printer along with a much, much, much bigger heat press. So I'm kind of saving a boat. It's going to cost me, I think, about $10,000 for that setup. So I'm saving and putting away for that, working on getting that set up. I have just been blown away with all of the different ways that you can create things. And all of the different kind of sublimation blanks that are available. I've wanted to do these frosted glass tumblers for a while and I finally ordered a set. We came up with these designs and I think they're really cute. Like there is the one it's Duck Vader. Kind of like Darth Vader mixed with a duck. It's really cute. The middle one is Hocus Pocus. I need coffee to focus. Very cute design. He's got like three cups of coffee around him. And the last one is pumpkin spice. In the fall, you always need a pumpkin spice uh, themed glass. I also made a fall pumpkin spice mug as well. I can show you guys here so you guys can see that. Very cute designs. These frosted glass tumblers, they came out so beautifully. The colors are so nice. It just, it's vibrant. The, I, I love the way that they turned out. Let me know how you guys think these turned out in the comments. And if you liked the video, remember to hit that thumbs up, everybody. Have an awesome day, everybody.